Over 6,000 Tunisians have landed on the shores of the small island of Lampedusa over the past few weeks. They say they're looking for a better life and an escape from the chaos and violence in their country. The few women who made the dangerous trip say they fled for their safety. Monia lived in southern Tunisia. She came with her husband, fearing the worst. But most who've come are men like Hussam. He wanted to find work to support his family. Late one evening, a rumor spread through the reception center that France would take the new arrivals. But it was wishful thinking. At this maritime museum, now a temporary shelter, UNHCR staff provides information on asylum and international protection. Les gens, ils ont, ils ont, ils ont peur même de nous pour le moment parce qu'ils viennent d'arriver. Ils ne savent même pas qu'est-ce que leur attend ici dans, le, dans ce centre. Euh, on essaie de leur euh, expliquer, leur, euh, de donner leur, le, leur, les, les informations utiles pour euh, la situation pour le moment. Mais c'est comme même nous, on ne sait même pas qu'est-ce qu'on va euh, avoir dans, dans les jours pro prochains. Some will apply, but most will continue their journey to other parts of Europe without papers. Tunisia's political turmoil brought an influx of people to this island. As the unrest spreads across the Middle East, the authorities believe that they will only see more and more people, desperate to escape the poverty and the violence in their countries.